ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Dragon Dog Number Two. On the last episode, we had um, uh, finally found what we needed to free uh, the tombs, whatever like that, to to convince the um, magistrate to leave. Uh huh. There's uh, something written here. Um, Shall we take a closer look? To leave the the, the the prison or whatever, and then I tried to, um, you know, see what kind of rewards he would give me. But I found he told me that he needed his glasses, so we gotta go back to the palace and see if we can get his glasses. The sight yeah, of Yon Ox cart has brought all my fatigue to the fore. Shall we climb aboard? Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? A crime committed here will see one confined to jail. We shall remain here. Okay, let me find my cursor. What must needs be done? My sword arm could use some work. I'd sooner stay out. Adam was a wink last night. Wonder if anyone would notice if I'm mistraining. On me to bear what younger shoulders he That was easy. This place is very tricky. Ah, you've returned. Oh, my spectacles. Well done, sir. With these, I shall have no need to fear any letters, be they small or faintly scrawled. I shall learn aught I can, that the day might come when I can repay this debt I owe you 
Many, many thanks. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Outstanding. Well done, everyone. Our efforts have been rewarded. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Some time now, it was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerades in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign that one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and it would be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. This part's a little different as well. Oh, um, yes? Uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. But those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself. Uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing. No matter how they fascinate me, it isn't to be.
Are you in the market for something in particular? Do come again. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. These foreign bows do so intrigue me, but I shall admire them from afar. It would be unseemly for an elf to purchase one. You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect. Such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trial of archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, Yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so. Though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir. You give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Many thanks. I am indebted to you twofold, but this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. Fancy a look at my wares? If you must go off on your own, there's naught to be done. I only hope you'll return sooner rather than later. It is not our place to hurry the Arisen.
saying. They are feeling just how I like it. It feels eerie, but not bad. This was not my intent. Results we do in vain. Our soldiers need better training. I still need to say I have some backup. Very fine. I'm just grateful. I have a niggling feeling I've forgotten something. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. I would appreciate your swift return, Master. A fell unease begins to gnaw at me when you are gone over long. It is not our place to hurry the arisen. So, I, I don't get it. So, when does this thing happen? Is, this, is it going to happen at night? Day? Always the same. Day after day. Just how ought I can do for you?
We cannot accompany you there, Master, but fear not. You'll find us here when you return. It is not at all to my taste. But dreary duty awaits after this. Is this fast truly to the sovereign's taste? I suppose I avail myself of the victuals. Wouldn't do to meddle in each other's affairs here. I hope the sovereign shall be well enough to dance anon. I'm frightfully busy. No time for idle chatter. Perchance you've heard. The coronation is soon to be held, it seems. The Sovereign, wounded in glorious combat with the dragon, is recovered at last. No tidings could be more joyous. Indeed, it is a weight off my heart to think that our fair vermin shall once again be governed by a true ruler. Methinks I'll have a rest. My feet ache from dancing. I like to think I give people a reason to smile. <laughs> Let us forget the dragon and dance the night away. Is there aught you require? I would fain aid you if you are in need. Always the same dismal affair, you ask me. Ah, naught but dreary duty awaits after this. Just between you and me, my survey missions through the caverns and ruins have been more trouble than I foresaw. My task is to seek out items of potential value and research them. And twas going well, too, till I found that door. Tis an enigma, forged of strange materials and covered in queer etchings. But my orders are to get to the bottom of it. So back and forth I go on an endless string of expeditions. I grow wearier with every trip. But no closer to an answer. Like children at a fair, only we drink more wine. Is this fast truly to the sovereign's t Ah, naught but dreary duty. I suppose I avail myself of the victuals. Everyone who dances with me complains of sore feet. Because you can't dance. 
Surely these extravagances... Best to remain sober. Much to be done on the morrow. Everyone who dances with me complains. Best to remain sober. Who didn't I talk to? Might as well make merry while the wine flows. Might as well make merry while the... I hope the soft... I must try to affect a change. Ah. Always the same dismal affair, if you ask me. This is where I find my life gets. Oh, well. Have you heard? There's to be more restrictions on goods traded with Batal. Apparently, even privately owned items will come to be curtailed soon. How dreadful! I have some served. It wouldn't do to meddle in each other's affairs. A breath of fresh air is just what I need. I do wonder who's behind the mask, but I shan't pry. Hmm. I've things to do, if you don't mind. Now, what was I Have you need of me? Know your place. Something happened. Nah, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scour the area. I'll scour all the time. In here. Open up. Rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and. Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. And what business have you here in the nobles' playground? Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. 
Tell us, Your Majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check, lest you forget these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters? I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. And we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. As you can see, I run an establishment that caters to certain pleasures. You're welcome to come and play any time, if you escape with your life, that is. Know, however, that our services do not come cheap. Uh. Wow. Uh, I'll, oh. I think I'll just, you know, skip the whole pleasant trees of this service. Greetings, Master. Is this where you've been all this while? Do you take care not to stray so far next time? It seems you have obtained information regarding the false sovereign. Captain Brandt will be eager to hear of it, I'm sure. Shall we report this development to Captain Brandt? Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Look, 
arrived. There is much we ought to attend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. merely Deesa's puppet then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes. Even were he to be removed, I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this Phasus fellow. But what precisely is their aim? I'm not sure what we're dealing with here. There is much we ought to tend to. So we ought to strengthen next. Your Majesty's claim. As a true arisen. While examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds, I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it seems, she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flour. What's more, this inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur the would-be arisen appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude that these sums are passing into the hands of Arthur himself. Yet, tis strange, for sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Romond. I dare say, twas not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign. Tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. I am glad to hear it, for I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deesa's scheme and securing your enthronement. Your current vocation right. is ill-suited to wielding a bow, master. I quite agree. So, that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next one. We had a good time, and we'll continue on next episode.